What is going on, my friends? Jesse with Just Man Sports Cards. Today we're going to do an all NFL football PSA reveal. Uh, I've had this back for a minute. I just haven't had a chance to do it. But we'll jump into things. Uh, start with Aaron Donald. I'll try to bring up the uh, population reports. So if you like me bringing stuff up, definitely give a thumbs and likes up. Uh, colored blue prism. I just sold a purple uh, for a uh, present a, a good amount um the the colored stuff is of his prism is is really low pop uh, i think this is a pop six or seven uh, with none higher so if you're trying to make a color run or something of his prism stuff there's not much of it out there uh this is a thicker slab not a thicker but one of the newer slabs you can just feel by the weight terry glenn platinum medallion i thought this was a pretty good picture of him um these i think are out of 50 yeah so this is a pop one with none higher so the bummer thing about these is just in this grade even though i mean it looks you can see white and stuff it's not like perfect but it's it's a nice looking card not that like the seven is just lower grade stuff like that's harder to sell I tried to look up the populations before I started the video. Created two of these. Uh, I believe it was a pop 12 total. So in Bowman Chrome, um, kind of what my line of thinking here was, this was the insert in Bowman Chrome. Uh, so it's more rare than his normal Bowman card. It's kind of got a, the Chrome finish on it. Cool looking card. Mike Evans, I expect him to get past a lot of milestones this year. Uh, he's got Baker thrown to him, so you think, what do you guys think, gals? Is that duo going to work? I think it is. I think Baker's got a chip. I think Mike wants to put some milestones on his career. These are always, it's later at night here. It's close to 10 o'clock. Uh, these are always harder to capture in the right light. Whoop. Uh, I was trying to fix my light source and it popped off. So that's a little better idea of how these look. The, the OG, I believe this is the first year, first Gallery of Heroes stained glass in football. Marcus Allen. I don't have a, a decent amount of these listed on eBay yet. I don't know. I guess I've just been slacking a little bit. The Junior. Great looking card. Got a 9 there. And then... The Marino is, I actually got upcharged on this by quite a bit. Uh, the last copy sold for, it was something crazy, like five or 800 bucks. The one before that went for like 300. So it's hard, I mean, I think they should split the difference, but I think they would still put it above 500. So I got upcharged on this one by, I think the upcharge was 50 bucks. So I wasn't stoked about that, but uh, if you saw the last video, I didn't get upcharged on the Dennis Rodman. Um, so I just kind of, it was like, I probably should have been upcharged on that. So you guys are going to get me on the Marino, whatever. Uh, Bo Jackson. I submitted two of these. Eight. I thought that these, I've had some people reach out and they're like, hey, what's, what do you see on them that makes them an eight? There's a little white there, but top to bottom, I think that spacing is about as close on the edges. I was really kind of thinking nines here. I guess there's a little piece there. I don't know. To me, these are, what do you guys think? These are at least 8.5s. That's a little diamond cut, which they can be a little... See how the picture's a little winky in there? I don't know what happened there. I just sold one of these, so that's... I, I gotta do the video, because uh, that's gonna go away. This is a pop two with one higher. It's numbered Luke, one of all-time greats. Linebacker. It's Sage, so it's not like super thought sought after but i knew it had 
it wasn't gonna be perfect, but like there's only two fifty of these. Second highest grade. How about this? Because he seems to be getting more attention with coaching. Uh, this is the rubies. This is pop one, none higher. If you guys go look for rubies in '96 in football, they're really hard to find. Those certain players. Uh, the Sanders might be underpriced. I don't know if they'll ever catch on because they're not shiny. That's the only kicker. So that's the gamble. Is like, will people go after the rarity uh, with it being a paper card? I don't know. That one's, I have that one listed for sale. The Kurt, Curtis Martin, I think his rare stuff just hasn't, I'm willing to let it marinate. So this is pop one with none higher. Yeah, I dig it. Zach Martin, uh, if you've been following the channel, I've been picking up his stuff. Mike Evans, I wanted to go harder on him on the off season, but just not many opportunities popped up to like snag some of his nicer stuff. I had bought one of his prisms at a card show and I sold it for I did okay on it. Uh so this is gold. I this is out of ninety nine, I think, yeah. This is a pop two with none higher. Classy looking card. I think Crown Royal is like to me kind of undervalued for how it looks. And it's still going today. So I'm probably going to hold on to that. Uh, Prism. I'll try to bring up the pop report on some of this. I think this is like a pop 10. So with some of his stuff, it's kind of a longer play. Because if he gets an all pro this year, that puts him in elite company. The Mojo, I think. If I remember these right, the mojo is less rare than the the normal prism. I don't know why that is. Released in a ten, so maybe the ten grades better on the mojo. Which one do you guys like better? I kind of like the way the mojo looks better. It doesn't have the same shine or refractor to it. Uh, and I, I had ten. So I think I had like close to five of these and I sent my best copies. I probably had like seven total select Zach Martins. Uh, select in the early years, 13 and 14. I think it's still slept on. You can look in football and basketball and it's it's way lower print runs than Prism, but it doesn't get the same price. I would go after the Prisms of Select. Uh, I have some basketball ones in my collection. Should probably pick up some more since I've dipped so much. Um, but, anyways, that's all I have for you folks today. I know that we're probably all waiting for Monday Night Football, but it's it's going to be soon. So I'll catch you later. Peace.